Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Today on our video we will speak about uh, you know something the Muslims always they keep coming to us with and they make accusation and they laugh at us etc. It's from the Bible and it's simply it is about rape. Uh, I can show you tons of times how Muslims you know they post verse from the Bible saying uh, look what your Bible is teaching about rape. You know what I want the Muslims, I challenge the Muslims I challenge the Muslims, all the Muslims in the world, to find me one verse in the, in the Quran speaking about the punishment of rape. You know, the God of Islam, he did not hesitate to make a chapter just to defend the penis of Muhammad. If you remember, there's a story uh, in the chapter of Al-Kawthar where a man, he accused Muhammad that his penis is cut off. So right away, Allah, he made a chapter. The whole chapter is about nothing. It's just about your penis is fine and his penis is going to be off. Okay? That's it. But Allah in the whole Quran, He did not have two minutes to make a little verse, just a little verse. What is the punishment of rape? It's not exist. So, we have to make it clear that in the whole Quran, there is no punishment for rape. Now the Muslims, they come to us with these verses from the Bible. The name of the book is in the front of you. And those are the verses usually the Muslims, they come to us with. And they say, now because the Muslims, we explain to them those verses hundreds of time, and I'm sick of it. I want to show them how stupid they are, because their prophet himself, and their religion, they adopt what is in the, Quran, in the Bible. In Islam, by the way, the punishment, the punishment of a cheating of a woman, married woman, or married man is death but we don't find it in the Quran he took it from the Bible he took it from the Bible the Bible says if you marry if you if you uh, if you uh, uh, sleep with the women you know and uh, you did uh, sleep with that woman and then she is a virgin you have to marry her you know listen here carefully uh, the verse in here it does not say that the man is raping the woman you know it doesn't say really that it says if man, a man have found a woman and uh, uh, he slept with her then the man he have to marry her to fix the what 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 happened because if you if you read before you will see that there is there is a ways to know if the woman she is in agreement with the man or not as an example in here let us say a woman she is found in the field and the guy he raped her so if the, if the woman <coughs> she cried out she screamed asking for help then she this means she is being raped but you hold a woman and you you know she never complain well she is she like it even if even if you are the one who grab her right even if you are the one who uh, let us say uh, uh, introduce her into su such an act but still, she did not complain. She did not scream. You know? So, what the Bible in here speak about this case in here. Here we go. A guy, he, he slept with this woman. And now this woman, nobody will marry her after that. Because in the, in the, for the Jewish, when a, when a woman, she get raped. Or she is, uh, uh, have a bad reputation. She slept with somebody. Nobody will marry her. Very simple. But the Bible making it clear that the women who get raped, she have no guilt. And nobody should judge her, you know, as we see in here. Like if a man, he forced a woman into, into, into sex, and he raped her, you see, man forced her, and he raped her, the woman, she will not be put into any judgment, anything, because simply she did nothing, period. So there is no punishment, and people should not even, uh, uh, you know, put her down, or even insult her, or accuse her, because simply she is a good girl, she was a victim. So the Bible, you know, make a decision and divide between the victim and the one who is a partner. So if you are a partner, the punishment is something. If you are a victim, the punishment is something. The punishment will be only for the one who uh, uh, who did rape you, and the punishment is death. As simple as as that. The punishment is death. Now, if a man he sleep with the woman and she did not complain much. She did not scream. She did not try even to 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 stop him. You know, uh, it, the the Bible is saying, "Okay, you did that, huh? Both of you are guilty in such a behave. 
even if you are the one who introduced her to such an act because she did not complain so you did not do that simply you are going to marry her because we don't promote in here sexual relationship without marriage you do such a thing you will end marrying her if you think you are trying to steal what she have without having her marriage having like you know in America they say actually uh, it was funny when I came to the state the first time I was driving my car and I heard something very very nice and uh, uh, you know I, I never thought the American they would speak in such a term you know I heard in the radio station uh, the lady in the show she was saying uh, about men who sleep with women you know uh, sorry if you can get the milk for free why you wanna buy the cow so here we go and this is an example of a man he wanna he got the milk and he don't want anything to do with this woman that's it so what the Bible is saying in here in this case you think you can get it and leave you made her go into your temptation to do your fault and you leave that's it so what the Bible in here is saying that you have to marry her and you have to pay her dowry the same as any other woman and actually that will stop any man from thinking in the same way because he knew what the end is going to be now in different verse in the Bible it says uh, uh, this in the in the book of Exodus chapter 22 verse number 16 and just to, to show you like because in here the the in Exodus 22 16 you will see in here it's speaking about the same case a man he said used the virgin who is not engaged to to have sex with him he have to marry her and he have to pay her her dowry so this is what the verse is saying I uh, speaking about and the Muslim they make it a big deal but now I want to show you that in Islam <laughs> there is no punishment imagine let me show you the book name Muatta Malik Mota uh, Malik, uh, book number 36, hadith number 36.16.14. By the way, those are numbers are in the English translation, which is not in the Arabic the same way. In Arabic, we see it as the following. We can choose any of those book uh, of Mota Malik, and we will see the numbers is totally different. This is the official government website of Saudi Arabia. For some reason, the the Saudi website is not working, uh, so I went to the Islam webnet. And this is the book, this is the cover, Muwatta Malik. And it is here, here we go. We will see uh, the, the hadith uh, or the judgment. And we can find it in different location. Let us show you. Here we go. The book of Aqdiya, which means book of judgment. Uh, the chapter name, uh, the, the chapter of uh, the women she been forced to something. So anyway, we showed you that this is all is exist in Islamic books and this is islamweb.net so Muslims cannot say uh, we are making things up at the same time I showed you from the Saudi website and I showed you from searchtrue.com what do you what do you want more you know here we go so if you read with Malik he said and Malik one of the top Islamic scholars in the world remember the Muslim Sunni they have four Islamic sect uh, uh, one of them is the Maliki Maliki due to the name of this guy which means the Muslim they call themselves by his name as if he is God for them he is a perfect judge and he is a perfect master of Islam and he based all his law based on Sharia law and Islamic law which is coming from Allah supposedly and Muhammad so what what the what the judgment is in here we will see the case that the rapist the rapist and listen carefully it is a rapist not like the Bible the Bible speak about what about a man he stepped with the women he seduced her he stepped with her he have to pay her and he have to marry her now the pay her the payment payment in here not wages this is dowry and here this is uh, pay in this is wages for muta because remember Muslims they have obligation if you sleep with the women you have to pay for you made her, her vagina lawful let me show you an example this is Sunan Abu, uh, Abu Dawood and this is the hate in here about a woman a man he did marry a woman he found her pregnant, which means she was sleeping around before he married. She married him. Now Muhammad, he said, "You have to pay her her dowry, for you made her vagina lawful. It's a wages for using the vagina, in Islam. This is how low class they are. And 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 the funny in here, by the way, and the sad. Muhammad said, and the child of the pregnant woman will be your slave. You see how disgusting he is." Like what the what the what the what the what the guilt of this is little child? Why you want to make him a slave? 
like find the women she did some you know she was doing uh, having sex around she get a pregnant from somebody and she did lie to the man who did marry her she told him she's a virgin but she's not now he pay her money because he use her vagina so the most important thing in Islam is paying money for the use of vagina the vagina of a Muslim woman is the same as a garage you park your your you know in there you pay for it that's it you park it you make it lawful uh, then the child will be your slave which is absolute you know filth and a stupid judgment because it doesn't make sense you know this is not even a slave woman she's a free woman why you want to make the child a slave what is guilt there's, there's no fairness in here so we go back there as we you know we prove to you that the payment in there in the, in the case of rape is just because you made her vagina lawful so for using the vagina you pay the women money for that vagina use for the service for the muta now in here you will see after he said that the man he have to pay the, the, the bride price uh, for raving the women uh, which means the women here she is not getting anything as we said except anything except wages for the for the rape and there is no punishment this is not a punishment this is wages the women she did service for the rapist the rapist have obligation to pay the women the price of service the price that's all there's no punishment and he continues saying here we go again uh, what is done to our community about uh, the man who rapes a woman a virgin or non-virgin it doesn't matter in Islam if she is a free if she is a free by the way if she's a free you can rape her don't, no, with, with no even punishment or anything uh, I mean without even paying money uh, so if she is a free woman she, if she is a white woman uh, is that he must pay the bride price for the women she look like her you know like because there is a price for every woman if you are ugly your price is down if you are pretty your price is higher so you pay her a price of a woman you know in hair case uh, someone in like in hair beauty if she is a slave he must pay uh, uh, what equal to her uh, uh, value but but to whom to her master that's not not to her <laughs> it's like you use my goat you have to pay for it huh you jumped over my donkey I'm going to charge you so he have to pay the rapist he have to pay for the uh, for 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 the women he raped but if the rape if the rape happened to a slave girl which is approved by the master there is no punishment here we go if the rapist is a slave if the rapist is a slave that is against his master unless his wishes to stronger him so uh, 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 you know in here you will notice that there is no punishment uh, applied for the rape women why what what is that if the rapist is a slave that's it it's up to the master how he judge with this so uh, always Islam divide by the way but between the free women and the slave women the free women Actually, I advise you, all of you to read the, the Muatna Malik and you will see, especially those African-American who Muslim try to fool them about the, uh, the judgment of Islam and how fair Islam is. Go and see the filth, the price of a slave, the price of, a, you know, like study the book of, of a blood, you know, the, the money for blood. You will, see, you will see that you killing a slave is nothing. You are no one. But the most important here, we showed the Muslims, that what they love about in the Bible they practice in their book and not only that in the Bible is not speaking about rape speaking about two men and women they slept together the man he seduced the women he have to pay her her dowry and he have to marry her and here all what he have to do he have to pay her this is not a punishment this is a wages for he used her vagina I hope you guys you will uh, you like this video please spread it all over and don't forget to tell your friends about my book. It's called The Deception of Allah. If you like to learn more about Islam without any politically correctness exists in the book. It's politically correct free. So see you soon with more videos. Christ is Lord. Islam made by a dummy for a dummy. Thank you.